Hello everybody and welcome back to another Star Wars video. Today we have an X2 exclusive just for you guys. A early prototype build of Yodin Mod 2021. Yes, you heard me right. Yodin Mod is back and in full force. And some of you might be asking, what's the difference between Yodin Mod 2021 compared to Yodin Mod 2019? Well, that's what we're going to be diving into in today's video. And honestly, some of the proof of concepts I've seen in this mod is so strange and new, I've never seen it in any other Empire War mod before. We're going to be sticking with skirmish battles throughout the rest of this video, so there will be no Galactic Conquest changes. We're going to start off on a standard official map because a lot of these custom maps are crashing right now, but we're going to be playing as the Galactic Empire against the Rebel Alliance. There is about 16 confirmed factions coming to Yodin Mod 2021, and they are Rebel, Empire, Underworld, Old Republic, Sith Empire, Mandalorian, Pirate, Heart, Republic, Confederacy, New Republic, First Order, Resistance, Sith Eternal, Vong, and Earth Coalition. So yeah, pretty much containing all three trilogies in one mod. But Yodin Mod 2019 and some of the mods before that kind of did that already. So what is one of the biggest changes we're going to be seeing in this mod? Well, whilst I can't confirm this will be officially in the mod when it comes out, it looks like we're going to be able to run a faction alongside a sub-faction in skirmish, ba skirmish battles. So what do I mean by that? Here I'm playing as Empire with the Empire Space Station Level 1. I've just built this test module, which looks like a, a sensor pod. But when I drop it down, I can click on it and then build a sub-faction alongside that empire faction so if i want the sequel trilogy first order alongside my original trilogy empire faction i can do so by building this sub faction called first order starbase and there i can build ships built towards that trilogy alongside uh, the standard empire faction that's not the only one i have to do though i can build a second empire space station to double up my development load on having big capital ships on one shipyard and then having more smaller ships on another um, and this isn't just for the empire faction this is also for rebels and the underworld which i'll be showing both of those in this video yodin did tell me to capture some of these uh trading uh, space docks i did try to do it in custom maps when they didn't crash uh and trying it in official ones it doesn't look like I can build anything that is remotely new to the game, which is why I believe it's more of a proof of concept and more of a statement that Yodin Mod 2021 is coming and it's not dead. Uh, you can see some empty uh, placeholder things that did have existing Yodin Mod 2019 ships, but they're gone. And if I try to build them and try to place them down, the game crashes. So we're not going to be doing that. We can build the uh, executor on this uh, uh, merchant space dock which is empire only and we also have weapons platform but when i build that and place it it's just completely invisible so that's definitely a working um a work in progress thing for this mod right now but if i build a secondary space station back here i can choose the first order i click that and it instantly builds the it's a level five one it'll be a level one in the uh, official build i believe but here I'll be able to build specific first order ships like the Supremacy SSD uh, and the Starkiller base. Whilst on the standard Empire line, I can build all of the standard Yodin Mod 2019 Empire faction builds. And uh, it can get really interesting, especially when you've got like very unique classes like the Vong in Yodin Mod 2021. It'll be really interesting to see how this will change skirmish battles in a 1v1 setting you know as i mentioned before do you build another empire space station to double up that uh the development for more ships in in a faster turnaround or do you feel like there might be a better scenario where you can sync up a specific sub faction alongside your standard empire faction you know maybe you might find a really strong combo that way it's really interesting and it kind of goes alongside the whole Yodin idea that everything is just crammed together in one mad massive empire war mod and we just see what works really 
and this is it you know we're running first order ships alongside the empire and it's a really interesting take i think if you think the empire ones are really interesting i'll show you the rebel and the underworld ones in just a second Alrighty, we are back and we are playing as the rebels here we have our remote sensor pod again we can build that drop that down and then instantly we can choose up to six sub factions for the rebel faction so here we have old republic which is really interesting considering that's a completely different trilogy um, and then we have the republic star base we have another rebel space station we have if it'll let me click it there we go uh, galactic alliance star base five uh, resistance star base and the earth coalition which is a new faction for yodin mod 2021 which will feature you know more youtuber based ships or even ships that are more relative to real life science i suppose uh we're trying to convince yodin mod to give us an x2 ship we would really want something like that in there he said he might do it so fingers crossed he will and uh i think when we go and capture the merchant space stock it's honestly the same as it was in Yodin Mod 2019, only, of course, the majority of these ships uh, we can't build because we'll crash. But let's go ahead and go with the Old Republic Space Station. Now, nothing does appear here because the model isn't done yet. Um, and of course, all of these ships here we can't build, unfortunately, because these are work in progresses. Like I said, this is a very, very early prototype build of Yodin Mod 2021. But, uh, yeah, we got some really interesting stuff here. What we got the Mandata, Mark One, uh, I Inexpungible. Oh, I, I hope I said that right. Uh, Hammerhead Frigate. We have the Hammerhead Corvette, uh, Republic Defender Corvette, uh, and all these other uh, Valor class cruiser. There we go. Yeah, really, really interesting to have two different factions work come together. Well, similar factions come together in a skirmish battle and it's something i've never actually truly seen done before and honestly if there was one mod that was going to do it it's probably going to be yodin mod so uh, i'm really excited to see where he'll take this but um capturing the trading station will reveal to us when we finally are able to capture it um pretty much nothing it's the same space frigates that we it's the pirate cruisers we're able to get in standard Yodin mod 2019 and uh yeah there you go uh nothing new here but let's move on to the next faction the underworld we are going consortium underworld uh i might uh had that wrong there i apologize uh, and we also see some other factions like the old galactic republic and sith empire these are not playable right now and we're going to see a full list of factions very very soon in future updates i'm going to go with the galactic empire on this one yeah uh, yeah, and I believe like all these new factions are possible thanks to the official Empire War update that came out about two months ago. There's a video that I did with Corey Losers where he really dives into detail into what exactly me what it exactly means for modders making Empire War mods with this new official update that has, you know, the last one that came out was back in 2017. So, uh, yeah, it was definitely a momentous occasion. I'll have that video in the top right corner if you want to find out more about that uh, update in another video. But coming back into the uh, consortium, we have our remote sensor pod. And when I drop that in, we can see for our uh, sub factions, we have the Mandalorian, we have the Pirate Space at Starbase, we have the Hut Cartel, uh, we have the Sis Space Station. The, the text Vong Starbase, the, the, the Vong, and uh, the Underworld Space Station. So let's go ahead with Vong. Building that kind of builds us a, um, a hut cartel, um, which is probably not what we want here. It looks like when we pick it, it's just a clone of the hut cartel, which is fair enough, you know. Um, I can't really argue with that you know he's probably not coded that in just yet which is fine you know i totally get it there's a lot of work to be done here but uh but yeah capturing the trading station brings us not really anything new here uh this the standard weapon platform that doesn't work we've got the venator class cruiser the 
pirate interceptor frigate and the IPV patrol. You know, nothing new here, uh, but that's to be expected, really. But this is what's going to be really interesting. Having two space stations, uh, potentially being two different factions working together in a skirmish battle mode. And I think that's going to be opening a lot of really interesting doors on how to play this game. One other thing I should also mention with Yodin Mod 2021 and that Yodin wanted me to tell you guys is that he's been working really, really hard on the optimizations of this new from the ground up Yodin mod. So he's basically starting from scratch here, uh, according to Yodin, and he's wanting to make sure that the game runs really smoothly. And honestly, I'm really impressed with the performance right now. Whilst we don't have a lot on the board, uh, we, uh, you know, I don't remember playing Yodin mod at like 60 plus FPS in some cases. Here I am running at 62 FPS, dropping down to 48 sometimes. But honestly, it's amazing. Like it's really, really smooth. Uh, and it's not because like, I've got a new computer or anything like that. I've played on the same computer, the T Yodin Mod 2019, and I was dropping down to 8 FPS in some cases. So yeah, I'm uh, really liking how this is performing. It's very, very smooth. And I think he's going to be trying to focus on keeping that smoothness, smoothness all the way throughout uh down to ground battles he did mention there is still some lag with ground battles there's nothing here that i can show in terms of ground battles for this video at this moment in time but um he said that's something he'll be working on in the future um another thing that i should mention is that he did eventually tell us why yodin mod actually got removed and it was mostly based on the fact that people according to him was bashing on him in terms of they kind of made fun of his mod they mocked him for it saying that it was just a mess etc etc and i think he might have taken that a bit to heart especially with all the work that he puts into it um he did want to state that you know you've got amazing mods like fraud revenge uh empire war remake awaken the rebellion fall of the Re uh, republic all visually incredible uh empire war mods and i feel like it's a quite a high standard to live up to uh, especially when you've got this, these entire teams working on one single uh, or a handful of mods for a prolonged amount of time. And yes, whilst Yodin Mod has been around since 2015, he's wanted to state that this was the... He's the only person that's been working on the mod. And uh, it's just one dude trying to work on it in his free time as a hobby whilst he tries to do his, you know, real life stuff, if you will. Um, but that's all I actually got from Yodin, actually, because uh, whilst he did contact me on Steam to, to give me this build, he was very... Um, lack of information, will I say, on what to exactly explore in this mod. So I spent a lot of time off recording trying to figure out exactly uh, <laughs> what was new, <laughs> I suppose. So uh, if I get any information here wrong... Uh, Yodin Mod will probably let me know and I can re-correct myself in the pinned comment down below. But uh, but yeah, this is all I had to work off of. Uh, Yodin, if I made any mistakes, please let me know, buddy. But uh, I hope I got a few things right. Uh, and I hope this uh, dual faction system, whilst I don't know how he's going to make it work in Galactic uh, Conquest, it'll be really, really interesting in skirmish battles. So I hope he actually does keep that idea because it's, it's fantastic I, I find it a lot of fun uh, for sure um but yeah one thing i think is also going to change as well is that in a lot of the yoda mod videos i had to build really big ships from vader's ssd executor that's gone from what i can uh, assume like he's completely removed it and um i don't know how you're going to be able to build those big ships apart from you know instead of building on a vader ssd executor which doesn't really make any sense you're building on a sub faction space station which would be really really interesting because that's what you saw in the first order um sub faction that we built that's where we were able to build the supremacy and the star killer base and not vader's ssd executor so he seems like he's rejuggled those around and it makes a lot more sense that way rather than being like how am i building a mega star destroyer from an executor super star destroyer like uh doesn't make any sense so uh, I really uh, appreciate these changes uh, that he's brought forward. But for those of you who just want to see it, before we close off this video, I will show you exactly 
how we can crash this game. We're going to build the first order star base like so. Um, and then we're going to build the supremacy SSD. And whilst there's, it appears to be not in my build area, it is there. We're going to drag it out. There's no model. I drop and it crashes. So <laughs> that is where we currently stand with Yodin Mod 2021. But again, these are really early days. Yodin Mod said he might try to get this out by July. Honestly, I'd be really surprised if he does. I think it'll be probably more towards the end of 2021. Uh, it gives him a lot more time to put everything back together from this new from the ground up approach he's going with. So uh, uh, don't expect it anytime soon. That's what I'll say. I'm really excited though. I think a lot of people love Yodin Mod despite what they say about it. Um, and I'm it's one of my favorite too and I'm really 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 excited to see what he does with it but besides that guys I've been Charlie you've been watching x2 and I'll see you in the next video take care guys